Fish are aquatic vertebrates. They usually have gills, paired fins, a long body covered with scales, and tend to be cold-blooded. Fish is a term used to refer to lampreys, sharks, coelacanths and ray-finned fishes, but is not a taxonomic group, which is a clade or group containing a common ancestor and all its descendants. Instead, there are three main classes, groups or types of fish. Bony fish, Osteichthyes, Jawless fish, Agnetha, and Cartilaginous fish, Chondrichthyes. Fish are the most diverse group among the vertebrates, with over 32,000 species. There are three superclasses into which fish are grouped. Bony fish, Osteichthyes, Jawless fish, Agnetha, and Cartilaginous fish, Chondrichthyes. Ray-finned fishes are of the class Actinoterygii, while lobe-finned fishes are of the class Sarcoterygii. Both are clades of the bony fishes. Regardless, all fish have some characteristics in common and that distinguish them from other animals. Cold-bloodedness. All fish are ectothermic or cold-blooded, meaning they cannot regulate their internal body temperature. Even warm-blooded fish such as tuna and mackerel sharks have only regional endothermy or warm-bloodedness limited to certain areas. Water habitat. All fish live in bodies of water, whether it is freshwater or saltwater. However, not all creatures that live in water are fish. Gills to breathe. Fish have gills throughout their life cycle. As with the water habitat, although all fish have gills, not all creatures with gills are fish. Swim bladders. Specialized organs fill with air to keep the fish afloat and in some species help them survive with low oxygen levels. They also help fish sleep and are sensitive enough to detect the movement of food and predators. Fins for movement. Most common are a tail fin, a pair of side fins, a dorsal fin and an anal fin. Variations exist but they all provide motion, maneuverability and stability. There are several exceptions to the common definition of a fish. For example, hagfish don't have scales and aren't true vertebrates, or are considered primitive vertebrates. Mudskippers are amphibious fish that can live outside water. Lungfish use lungs instead of gills to breathe. Lampreys lack paired fins, and tuna are warm-blooded. Also, not all fish groups come from fish lineages. The superclass Tetrapoda of the four limited animals is considered to be a group within Sarcoterygii, and includes amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Hence, Sarcoterygii includes both lobe-finned fishes and tetrapods. Finally, not all aquatic creatures which resemble fish are considered fish. Whales, dolphins and porpoises are aquatic mammals, for example. There are two main types of fish pregnancies, ovoviviparity or a placental viviparity, egg-bearing, and viviparous, embryo-bearing. Both are considered to be live-bearing. Ovoviparity has the eggs develop and hatch internally, with the young being born live. It can express either ovuliparity, external fertilization of eggs and zygote development, oviparity, internal fertilization of eggs and external development of zygotes as eggs with yolks, or ovoviviparity, internal fertilization of eggs and internal development of embryos with yolks. Stingrays, seahorses and some shark species are ovoviviparous. So are guppies, mollies, swordtails, halfbeaks and platies. Viviparity has embryos develop internally before being born live. It can express either histotrophic, tissue-eating, viviparity. Mother provides no nutrition and embryos eat their unborn siblings or mother's unfertilized eggs. Or hematrophic, blood-eating, viviparity. Mother provides nutrition, usually through a placenta. 
Many shark species are viviparous, 